my father passed away almost three years ago and my mother got slightly struck around the same time. Even though we managed to find the daycare center, but she only goes to there four days a week. So we need someone to help us to take care of my mother. Actually,我的兒子是因為我有兩個小朋友開始 I think we started to realize that we need a helper to take care of uh, my two children roughly around two months uh, beforehand. Yeah, I think when we are becoming more desperate to get a helper, we try to just uh, uh, yeah, go to any of the agencies that we could find. I started employed a Filipino maid 36 years ago when my wife had my first baby and we needed somebody to look after uh, herself and also the all the domestic work. We still need a domestic helper to, to, to take care of all the family cleaning, washing, cooking, etc. So um, leave my wife more time to rest and she's, she's still working anyway. I think domestic helpers take a lot of stress off of parents and because I have a domestic helper I'm able to work full-time. It allows me when I come home from work to just focus on my family and focus on my kids. I don't need to then do the laundry, the dog walk, the dinner, the grocery shopping because I've been privileged to have somebody else who is stepping alongside me to do that. Tongue when you walk in the agency and ask them that, okay, I need a domestic helper, try to state about your requirements. Most agencies, they will only take that, okay, any elderly people in your family, how many? Any children in your family, how many? We went to an employee agency, the one we have been using for, for a number of years. They show us the video and, and we watch for several minutes and then make a decision. You know, very frankly, by the time we watch the video, we cannot tell whether this helper is a good one or not uh, until the day she comes. Your destination is three kilometers away. At the next intersection, right. One question that we usually ask is about uh, what, what does the fees include? Do they charge the helpers any fees? associated with the employment. That's really important because uh, I understand this is when trafficking can happen. I think a lot of us don't realize what's happening behind the scenes with an agency. I didn't know myself until someone explained it to me and had they not, I would have thought all agencies were sort of similar in their approach. Uh, most of agency staff they did not even really clearly understand about the relevant ordinances and I need to look up the immigration department's website one by one and try to argue with them and I think the agencies they need to improve the knowledge and competencies of the staff. I think it would be great if the agencies themselves would be able to educate people more so that people know that there's a difference in agencies. Because if people know that there's a difference, I would imagine they would want to choose the one that was more fair and you know, helpful to people, not putting people in debt.